you can't be held as part of the agreement that's the underlying crime. So they remedy because they still need to find a way in law to trap all parties known. So they got some shit called accessory before and accessory after the fact. So if you tell somebody you're going to commit a crime and go commit it and they don't report it before you commit it, that's called accessory before the fact. If you commit a crime, you get away and you tell your homeboy, hey, man, I need you to throw this gun in the river. But since it's a sweet 357 Python, he decided to keep it. They catch him with the pistol. The pistol traced to the murder, but they know you did. He becomes accessory after the fact for concealing the weapon that committed the crime. Right? So now we got to know how the street work and how the judicial system work. The judicial system is the application of the Judahites. Because Judah was the judges. So now the judges had to operate according to the laws they received from the Levitical priesthood because the Levites was the lawgivers, the elves. Right? So <clears throat> the elves give the, ju the judges the law. The judges officiate over the law. But because the lords, right, as conquerors that's trying to conquer the land, they use admiralty law to usurp the law of the land. And this is how you change the jurisdiction. Now we under the admiralty jurisdiction, the only way out is to capture the admiralty flag of the vessel that's ruling on the land. June 6, uh, uh, January the 6th, 2000, I mean, 2020. When you see my man sitting behind the admiralty flag with the flag of the land. That was overtaking the vessel. That was the hostile takeover. It was done. When they walked him out of there, it was done. He only had to occupy it for five minutes. That's why he was sitting there with his feet up to meet the time requirement of occupation. The occupation uh, by the people or, or that's organic to the land or their agents. Because remember, they came with pale face agents. So they made it okay for us to use pale face agents in the redemption. So he sit behind the desk, put his feet up for five minutes. It don't matter what they do at that point, we won. They lost, we won. Now we just sunk their battleship. Right? The Senate is not controlled by the president. The Senate is controlled by the Speaker of the House. Right? And the Speaker of the House was Nancy Pelosi at the time. And that's why they kept making a big deal out of this dude with his helmet sitting at Pelosi's desk. So one of the chiefs that know how to sink the battleship going to speak up and tell everybody what it means. But only the war chiefs can see it while it's taking place. So then the only thing left now is to serve notice on the Pope because we didn't already brought down the crown of England. When you bring down D.C., you took their military might from them, your military industrial complex. <clears throat> so the Sipico put the Pope on notice. Right. When she put the Pope on notice in the public domain and told him that we will I no longer honor any law that's not the great law. What's the great law? The great law is the law of the land, air, and the water. Right? So since we no longer under admiralty jurisdiction, we follow in the law of the land first. And the law of the air, second. And the law of the water becomes third. That flips us from being a wall to operating in law, right? A wall mean it's a, a military term absent without leave. The reason why they can insert their jurisdiction is because Big Mama's seat is empty. She's a wall. 
The only way to reseed her is to take the A wall and flip it into the LAW laying air and water. Right? So we changed the jurisdiction by following the steps. Now, what's next? We have to serve eviction and protest against the discovery doctrine that allowed the settlers to come here. We reverse engineering everything they've done. So we sent in ceremonial Muskogee Creek in Atlanta at the Trail to Tears gateway. Right? Because everything that follows the Trail to Tears is thereby put on notice. Notice the agent is notice the principal. By putting Atlanta on notice serving eviction and protesting the, uh, the doctrine of discovery, the Pope response was what? Rescind the doctrine of discovery. That's equivalent to pulling the rug from under them. Because everything that they did, all building blocks of their entire construct is hinged on the doctrine of discovery and the white man's burden. Right. And it was all military conquest derived from Roman doctrine. That was negotiated on the Senate floors of Rome for global conquest before the close of the age in order to seize Earth as the holdings. Of Yahweh. So Yahweh is fighting Inanna or Isis. Genesis is the genealogy of Isis or the beginning of Isis's war. And they said that enmity would be between her seed and his seed. Right? Eve, Hawa, tribal leader, feminine. Adam, Adama, earthborn, masculine. They will turn the men against the women and the women against the men that's of the earth born who follow the matriarchy. Right? And when they do this, what's going to be the side effect? Right? She's going to travail in childbirth. Labor pain. That means struggle. Painful struggle. A.K.A. the chapter of misery is initiated. So because the divine providence placed us in the chapter of misery, this is when the universe is constricting. Now we're talking something in, in science called red shift, blue shift. Um, expansion and contraction. In the contraction comes the pain caused by the restricting of the muscles. Right at the end of the labors, it produces the child, and the labor pains are no longer. Labor is done, the child is here. So, this is the close of the age to make the people aware of a new beginning by explaining to them what happened in the old world that make it have to come to an end. They turned us all against each other. In everything they made us have uh, vehemently opposing ideologies to fight over so that we can never see who's controlling us from behind the scenes. The Wizard of Oz, that little man behind the curtain. You mean this motherfucker was running the show? And it was that little motherfucker running the show the whole time. Sort of like a pink in the brain type of thing. Almost. It's always the smaller, uh, it's always the uh, smaller, running, the smaller guy because of uh, running the crew. Like Jake Prince, he was out, he's short, and he got all these big niggas around him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but he the brains or whatever. That's you called know? the Napoleon uh, complex. Yeah, yeah. Hey, right. Right, so uh, yeah, we, we want to hold along. Uh, we got to let's take a couple minutes. questions before we cut out. Uh, and do we take uh, about three, four questions? Uh, yeah, because we want to hit at 9 30. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, yeah, y'all got any questions for Raw? It says, what should we look forward to for 2020, uh, 2024 as far as this information, uh, Raw? We, like I can't tell you, I can't tell you, I can't tell you how it's going to play out, but what we're going to be looking for is, uh, we got to 2025 before the national celebration begin. So, um, be looking for a lot of construction in the streets. This is going to show us rebuilding the infrastructure. Um, which is going to cause a lot of traffic congestion. Look for an economic collapse between now and June because we have to switch to a new currency that's backed by a substance because that's the law of the land, equal exchange of products and services. So if you, if you get somebody's labor, you have to properly compensate them or you will be held in in reprisal for what you tried to keep for them. In other words, you'd be made to pay them what it was worth. Um, look for uh, massive jobs closing before the banks collapse. That's going to be your indicators. You're not going to see it until it happened, but the BRICS nations is literally damning the dollar. The dollar is currency. The current is the die marker that measures the flow of the energy in the people's um, desire. If the money stopped flowing, that means that the people is fed up to the point is they don't want to spend no money with this beast no more. So no longer will they worship the dollar. Now they're going to make the dollar be their servant instead. So rich people always say, make the money work for you. Don't work for the money. Right. And that's the reason for that, because those who work for the money, it's going to be running through their hands because it's liquid. Right. But those who money work for are the ones who's controlling the flow of the dam. How much water is released and how much is held back. It's a difference. <clears throat> and. Wall Street is phantom trading right now. All that shit y'all see on Wall Street, oh, that's phantom trading. Wall Street was confiscated because of the trillions of dollars of money that they laundered, that they got caught laundering in the last 50 years alone. Um, a trillion dollars in human trafficking uh, funds that's confirmed that's tied to human trafficking. Um, trillion dollars of um, real estate money that was stolen, that all of this they got the records of. It's already been put in the public domain. Right? So those are just some of the things to look for. And when it's finally get ready for the flip, that's when y'all gonna see a spokesperson come out and speak on behalf of the chieftains and tell y'all what's going on on the land because the people is uh, obligated to receive a report from a competent spokes chief that tell them the circumstances and conditions of the land, what's going on on the land, right? So the whole redemption process got to be painted out for the people by a competent chief. The spokesperson for the chieftains is Larry Hoover. All right, we got, we'll take, I got one more question. It's, it's going to sum up a couple questions that people ask. Okay, so about the paper, paperwork. And student loans and credit and buying land uh, with, with using this system. Is that still a goal or should they hold out on it? Like, you know, buying land and, you know, anything uh, that you have to put your signature, listen, anything that you got to put your signature on right now, while these people in power is authorizing them to stay that much longer. Damn. If, they, if your signature is required, it's a contract. And that's how you know where they trapping us at. Everywhere that you have to sign for something, it's a contract. If you have to sign for a parcel in the mail, you are signing and confirming that the contract obligation has been met. Right. It's still a contract. 
what they say anything you put your name to is a contract don't ever forget it yeah so our, we, what we're trying to do is enough people to stop doing contracts with these people in order to make them rendered useless and then we automatically have to continuity of government we have to fill in the, the gap with competent resources that we have on standby for the turnaround well most of the people are not going to see it until it's done done they're going to think that people like us is crazy to a certain extent but they're going to be seeing everything we say playing out in real time because that's it it's all over with now we just trying to get the critical mass on the hundred monkey effect. Right? Well, because there's so many people would take more than a hundred. But the concept is the same. It's enough to effectively um, inform the universal mind, the great egregore. We got to do a show on that too, the egregore, so people can understand it better. But this is how you changed something for good and for real. Right? This is the difference between doing surgery to get the bullet out and putting a Band-Aid on the bullet wound. We doing surgery to get the bullet out, so it's going to be way longer than putting a Band-Aid on the bullet wound, but your chances of survival are going to increase exponentially. So at the World Fair, also scheduled for 2025, this is when the, all of the medical discoveries and other discoveries, I put emphasis on the medical discoveries because they're going to unveil the med bed and the healing pods or the healing chambers. The healing chambers is all Atlantean technology to do maintenance on the physical body. Right? The body, we supposed to be live a thousand years, but they maimed our DNA. So now the code for the new DNA got 13 strands worth of DNA summed up in two strands. That's called evolution. That's how your 1957 Chevy turned into a 2000 Chevy Caprice. Right. Right. More streamlined, more functional, smaller, less, less uh, lighter, so it will burn less gas, more efficient in engine, more efficient in... Uh, uh, transmission it, it's a different car but it come from the original design was all big and clunky 13 strands you don't need all that if you know how to program the system now the upgrades allow you to have the same value where you no longer need a bear theory gland nature will compensate for the lost uh, organ in order to give the function to a different organ so everything the bear theory gland is going to be reassigned to the pituitary and pineal glands, right? And that way, your third eye go back to being your first eye, and your two eyes allow you to focus in your first eye on a three-point um, conversion, what we call triangulation, the Lucifer lens. You can flip it up side down and turn it correctly and now you can see it for what it is instead of what they told you it was mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. hey Rob well I think we'll take one more we got seven minutes to we like to go to that 130 more uh somebody asked uh we'll take one more it says uh what's going on yeah, that shit move fast Okay, what about Agenda 25? You know anything about Agenda 25, Rod? Let me Look, ask there's question. so many agendas. There's mm -hmm. so many agendas. But the only agenda now is the matriarchal agenda. Don't no other agenda matter except the matriarchal agenda. Deja vu. Everybody got right. an agenda. They plan and Big Mama plan. And Big Mama put the whole plan together from the beginning so you're not going to outplan her. Right. So while they got their agendas, just know that if it ain't the matriarchal agenda, it's some bullshit. It ain't going to survive unless it go through the matriarchy first. That's the great filter for the new age. We got seven generations of offspring to prepare for to set up the best possible development for the golden age. So um, whatever agenda 
2030, Agenda 2025, Agenda 2027, Agenda 2050. They can agenda, wipe, swipe, and flush. And don't none of them matter if they don't go through the matriarchal agenda. And the matriarchal agenda is to give our children the best chance for a future free from war, bloodshed, and child sacrifice of all forms. Yeah, let's get it. And we can drop the mic and walk off stage at that one. Hey, y'all, <laughs> hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. If you want to show the brother Raw Hayes some love on the cash app, we got his cash app right there on the screen, y'all. Everybody send him some money. We got like a thousand and some people in here. Everybody send him a dollar and put him in the game, man. Right now. Five, I'll be on uh, House of Reawakening, man.